What's up, people? Welcome to the What's Been Going On of this week from the 7th to the 13th of October. Week with a great start. I have to say as well, I have an after in my mouth, which hurts a lot. No fun. I have chocolate milk. Which is nice. And um, I have to say this week started off very, very well. Um, the last week I said it was very bad. It was not that bad. Well, it, it was sort of bad, but the best moments of the week were the last 12 hours of the week. So it was after I filmed the actual video. Well, what happened was that I went to eat snails and frogs with my buddy. And then I sent out a risky text that was very, um, I have to say it was very, it was very risky, but the reward I got was very, very highly, very high reward. So what happened was that uh, it was a risky text. It was late at night and it was, you know, it was straight to the point and it succeeded, you know, because sometimes if you want to win, he, he, him who doesn't bet doesn't win. That's, that's how life goes. So. It's a risky text. I win. Next thing you know, the week starts. I'm not in my place. I'm at someone else's place. I get up. Whoa, I have someone. I was like, whoa, it, it's great. Then I, it's rainy and I have to go home. Thankfully, the place I slept in was close by to the place I am. I, I live. So I had to go to class at 9 a.m. So I wake up, blah, 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 rush, we get out, well, I get out, well, the person takes me out, it's rainy, I have to go out, like, it's like 6, I don't know, 7 a.m., I have to go ha to class at 9 a.m., everything is fast, and that's how the week started, so it was it was a bit of fast, a fast start of the week, then what happened was, um, I dressed very nicely, so for the whole week, I dressed up, like, very nice, I'm starting to wear nice blazer weather starts to be a bit cold but you know if i dress like it's a weather to dress nicely so it's like ah you know it's like summer is going away true but we're starting to dress nice so that's okay and monday comes around very responsible day well the week i've been very responsible the whole weekend I did a job, I work in marketing, which is not that fun, but like, it was very responsible. Like I worked, it was a very long project, which was meant to be for the next week, but I already finished it I sent it. And it was a market analysis between two companies. So in the same sector, so I chose Seiko and Rolex. So two watch companies, and it was very deep. I had to put many sources. We had to do lots of things. I did it quite well, so I don't mind about that. I was very school-oriented in the weekend. But on, on the other side of the things, like the start of the week was not at all school-oriented. It was like, I did the things that should happen in the weekend. I did them at the start of the week. And the things that should happen at the start of the week happened on the weekend. But that's life, you know. So then Tuesday comes around. And the thing is, um, this, uh, the person I woke up, uh, we, we have class together. So it's a bit risky. Life is risky. Life is, life is very risky. So Tuesday comes around. We're in the same class. I get in a bit late. This person doesn't even look at me. I'm like what okay that's how we play if that's if that's how you play okay i i see you then after well i got in a bit late so that have that has something to do with it uh i go to class normally everything was chill i was with a group of friends maybe like if like in small regard that's it like not even a hello no nothing and what happens next is that after like lunchtime is coming and she waits outside. So then we eat lunch together. So that just like, okay. And then on Wednesday morning, I didn't have any classes. So, you know what? 
you know, you know, I played it risky again, and uh, yeah, Tuesday was a great day. Tuesday was a great day. Tuesday night was a great night. Wednesday morning was a great morning. Then I go out because I have a class. The only class I have it's on Wednesday afternoon. Well, I take the freaking train to go to school, and like ten minutes before the class, I'm in the train still. Ten minutes. I get 10 minutes before when the class should start, I get the freaking message saying, oh, your teacher has annulated today's course because blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, really? Like, you, you send it 10 minutes before the class starts? Like, you'd have sent it an hour or two before, so we didn't go to school just for that. Then I had to come back home. But I was, I met, um, a great thing is that I had a couple of Spanish friends it also we're going to that and also have like we all caught up like we all fell into the freaking trap of going to school just for the course to be cancelled so then we see them and i go back with the spanish friends and with the spanish friends at this moment i haven't really eaten lunch so then we eat lunch they're like you know you want to have a drink Next thing you know, you know, Wednesday I was supposed to be studying and doing things. I'm just eating lunch, like brunch, a little bit of very late brunch, and like I'm having drinks on a Wednesday, which make no sense. Like I should be doing responsible things, you know. So that's how the week sort of adapted afterwards. Uh, I yeah. Then Thursday came around. Thursday didn't practically do anything, but I know. Yeah, Thursday didn't really do much. And then Friday comes around, and I have to do this work that's like it's worth a third of a subject. So a third of one of the subjects I have this semester, which is a big percentage. You know, when you think about it. It's quite big. So I did it quite well. And all the week, like I went to the library. For the first time in, what, four months, I go to a library to work, like really work and like in the computer like this and searching things. And I, when I really work, I have a timer. So I do like the Pomodoro method. So it's like 25 in, five rest, 25 minutes work, five rest, and that way continuously. So it was like, I felt very productive professional I don't know like but like really like I really owned it not just like oh I need to do it no no this week I actually did it and I feel proud of that and you know this week even though you know it was not a crazy ass week but it's like one of these weeks that you say oh I know I'll miss this sort of weeks when I'll be older. Like, I'll know I'll miss this city when I'll no longer live here. And this little weeks, it's, yeah, it's one of those, just, just a nice week that went away, that great things happened. And I was responsible, because I should be responsible. I had a freaking four or five month vac vacation. I should work. That That's, you know, that's how life should go. You shouldn't just be having four month or five month vacations. Even though I had one, would I want to have another? No, no, I think I should work. So I'm doing the right thing. And actually doing the marketing analysis, I learned a lot of things. Like when you have to cite sources and you need to see that the sources actually go with the things you're saying or you're talking about. It's like, oh, this is interesting. And then you see in the sources, oh, maybe this way is more an interesting. It's better citing it this way than the way I thought, or it's better expressing it this way than the way I thought. And you compare ideas. And I put so many sources. I put like, I don't know, a lot of sources in that work. And yeah, and today, on Sunday, I get to, I call my uncle. My godfather, first time we speak in a long while in weeks. So the one that lives in Sweden, we got to speak quite a bit. It was nice. I miss that. And fair, I cannot insult him. 
Well, I can, but yeah. that guy, I miss that mofo. And then I, yeah, I called my Swiss friend that we haven't spoken, that I saw right in the middle of summer, which was great, great Swiss. Well, she lives in Switzerland. I haven't spoken to her since we met, which was right before August, right before I went to Rome with my parents. I, I spent you know, some nice time with her. We went to sets. She's probably one of my favorite cities in the whole world, which is not even a city, but, well, yeah, it is a city. Uh, I, I really think that set is, you know, it's a very special place to me. I went with her and we had a very nice time. And then, you know, since she lives in Switzerland, it's not that easy to see each other, but I got to call her and speak with her. And I was like, you know, it brings back the, you know, the nice memories of summer and things, and... Oh, man, it was nice speaking with her, too. Hmm. I think calls, calls are very good. I wouldn't really realize, but, like, the ability to just call when whomever you want, whenever you want, like, doesn't matter where they are in the world, you can just call them. That's unbelievable. Oh, no. Mamma mia, mamma mia. Nice little week. And yeah. If I sound very weird, it's because of the freaking after. I think it should go away as fast as possible. But yeah. Thank you for watching what's been going on this week from the 7th to the 13th. I'll see you next week. Bye.